My recent trip to Germany inspired this delicious plate of German meatballs in a sour cream and caper sauce. This is called the Konigsberger Klopse. Hi everyone, I'm Karen Ahmed. Welcome back to Craving Food Adventures. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this very delicious, simple German recipe. The beef meatballs are simmered in beef stock before being tossed in a creamy caper sauce which is also flavored with parsley and mustard. This is delicious and a big winner in my household. Do make sure that you subscribe to my channel guys. I upload a ton of videos every week and ring the bell. That's YouTube's new bell icon that will notify you every time I upload a new video. Now let's get cooking. The first thing I'm going to do is soak one slice of bread in about a quarter to half cup of milk. I'm then going to squeeze out all of the excess milk and just leave the bread aside. In a saute pan, I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter and I'm going to allow this to melt. Before I add a half cup of diced onion. Allow this to sweat till it's nice and translucent. I'm going to remove this and keep it aside. In my food processor, I'm going to add two pounds of ground beef. For this recipe, you can add beef, veal, lamb, or pork, or a combination of the four. I'm just going to get this in there under the blades to make room for the other ingredients. Add one whole egg, my favorite, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard, the bread we soaked earlier. Now this slice is roughly about half a cup when it's smushed together. Next, I'm going to add some nutmeg. This is freshly grated. I'm just going to add in about half a teaspoon. Nutmeg is used a lot in German cooking and it adds an incredible flavor. I'm also going to add one teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. I'm now going to pop the lid on and process this all together. You want to get the ingredients combined well. This is looking amazing, so now I'm going to add a half cup of roughly chopped parsley. The reason I didn't add it before is because if the parsley got over-processed, your meatballs would turn green and we don't want that. This looks good, so I'm just going to get this into a bigger bowl and I'm going to add in the onion that we sauteed earlier. Mix this in well. Using a wet hand to prevent sticking, just grab a fistful of the meat and form it into a meatball. Repeat this process. I've got about seven meatballs and there's a little leftover for this baby one. Using the same saute pan, I'm going to pour in one liter of beef stock and I'm just going to allow this to heat up. You can use store-bought stock or you can also make your own. While this slowly comes to the boil, I'm going to add in three bay leaves and about six peppercorns. I'm going to wet my hands again and I'm going to smooth out these meatballs just before they're dropped into the hot stock. Allow these to cook on one side and then just gently flip them over. You can also just use a very small saucepan that's a lot deeper and you can completely immerse these meatballs to cook them and just cook them in batches. A 
I poured the stock into a jug and I'm ready to use the same saute pan again. I love one pot dishes. Add in three tablespoons of butter and allow this to melt. I'm going to follow this with three tablespoons of all-purpose flour and I'm just going to whisk this in a little bit at a time, making a roux. Now add the stock in slowly and keep whisking till it's all combined. Once this comes to a boil, I'm going to add a half cup of sour cream, just a little bit at a time, and I'm going to blend it till smooth. Let me scrape in all that sour cream goodness in here. I'm going to allow this sauce to boil so it can thicken. Next, I'm going to add one tablespoon of lemon rind and the juice of half a lemon. Add one teaspoon of Dijon mustard and I'm going to follow this with one teaspoon of capers. Mm. Add a teaspoon of salt and about a quarter teaspoon of fresh cracked pepper. I'm going to add yet another quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. And finally, a quarter cup of chopped parsley. The sauce has thickened up now and it's the perfect consistency to start dunking my meatballs in. I'm going to very carefully place them. Poached meatballs are a lot more delicate than fried ones, but the texture is so amazing. I'm gently going to fold the sauce over the meatballs. Now here's a tip, before you dunk your meatballs in, if your sauce is too runny, just add a little bit more flour paste to thicken it. And if it's too thick, you can just water it down with some of that leftover milk from the bread we soaked earlier. These meatballs are ready and they're perfect with a pitcher of some good old German beer and some honest to good potatoes. Enjoy! Thank you so much for joining me on Caribbean Food Adventures. I really hope you enjoyed this Konisberger Klopsa. It's as fun to say as it is to make. Do make sure you subscribe to my channel. I upload a ton of videos every week. Also, share my channel and my videos with your family and friends. Ring the bell, that's YouTube's new bell icon that will notify you every time I upload a new video. And the fun doesn't stop there. Follow me on all my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and even Snapchat. Till I see you next time, take care and happy eating. Bye. Cravings has left the building.